Time of year can be about getting. Substitutions here for the Celtics. Jay Crowder comes in for Williams. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for Jason Tatum. Martin's checked in for the Bucks. Rose comes in for Drew Holiday. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. The talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Rose. And it's Martin in at the five down low. Baseline try, and there it is for him. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Outside Crowder. Williams trying to break free. Shot by Crowder, no good. Bucks leading by three. Two minutes remaining in the first. And stolen by Williams. And now with the fast break, Smart with the ball. Back to Brogdon. To the inside, Williams. And good coming on the assist by Brogdon. Williams has got seven points in the game. Pretty good awareness there from Malcolm Brogdon, capable of spotting the open teammate on that side of the ball. Something that stands out about the Bucks is their versatility in their offensive package. I mean, they use penetration, they shoot the three, whatever it takes to Something beat a good ball. defense. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. So it'll be Giannis Antetokounmpo shooting. That's on Malcolm Brogdon. And Brent, what would you say is the secret to the Bucks' deep offensive arsenal? Well, it's a variety of talents that they have on the floor. It's just a combination of guys who want to move the ball, want to move their bodies, and then you get the ball to Giannis and you get out of the way. Brogdon has got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by four. And it's Gallinari missing. Martin inside. He's guarded by Brogdon, and he makes that one. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Boston's gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside. Here in the first quarter, there's the double team with Martin. Colinari passes to White. And the wide open shot from Crowder. No good on the triple. Milwaukee leading by six. It's Martin on the wing. He's guarded by Brogdon. Offensive rebound. And the dunk by Seller. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Yeah, a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Twenty-four seconds left to play in the first quarter. Rose kicks to Mark. This one for three. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Rogged in the pass to Crowder. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. That's a two from Martin. And the buzzer beater. With the Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. The team is pumped up. And so it's Milwaukee holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. Here they come. It's something and if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. 
And quite a position here for the Bucks to be in. What do you think, guys? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, sharing the wing spots, it's Allen and Middleton. Martin is out there with Portis, and it's Holiday in at the one spot. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Heat was a man on a mission. He had 56 points, and he was a force on defense. Came up with a lot of steals. He put up great numbers in a terrific effort. It's not a game that anyone wanted to miss. And he'll be looking for a repeat performance tonight, Kevin. Yeah, David, he was in attack mode all night long. GA really propelled them to that win. When he's on, he is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Well, the long arms of Middleton getting up there on defense and throwing that one away. And that does it for the first half of play. Bucks lead by 13. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game. Substitution making a switch. Martin's checked in. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Celtics passing it around. And the basket by Tatum. A mix of agility and strength makes Tatum lethal inside. He could easily work around the defense. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the final. Tatum and Williams up in the forward spots. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. And it's Williams at the center, filling out the middle. That's the Boston Five. Celtics trail by 13. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Williams kicks to Tatum. Floats it up for Williams. Milwaukee with the rebound. Even Genzo's got his sixth rebound on the night. Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. Pass to Smart. To the middle, here's Williams, and Williams with the stuff. And the skills of Brown, not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Three-pointer, Martin, and again, Milwaukee with the triple. Three. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. And it's Williams finishing it off. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Get up, get up. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Brock, and he's checked in for Williams. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Stolen by Martin. Connaughton finds Martin. For three. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. On the wing, Brown. Tatum wide open. He fires one. They get the rebound. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Now he's put on a shooting display here in the second half. He really seems to be in a great groove right now. Martin with the bucket. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. 
Tatum against Martin. And the foul called on MP. That is his first foul of the game. Derek White checked in for the Celtics. The Bucs also changing it up. Cody Zellers checked in for Portis. Allen comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Here's Martin up and in on the layup. Martin's got 28. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And a drive like that one can be a knockout punch. Great finish at this juncture. Williams. The three from Tatum. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Nice work by Tatum. A better three-point shooter than many scouts thought he might be. Allen dishes to Martin. Fires the three. And another three for Milwaukee. Three points. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Stolen by Martin. And finished off by Martin. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Tatum's shot is off. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a 19-point advantage heading into the next quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We come back right after this. In a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Doesn't happen with every point guard in the league as far as setting your teammates up. Lots more scorers now, but right there creating the scoring opportunity for his teammates. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Well, if there's one thing, Greg, that defines a modern NBA big man, it is mobility. And, and they've got to be able to move their feet and, and really play in space. Otherwise, they just can't stay on the floor in today's game. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. And it's Martin in at the five, patrolling the paint. Celtics trail by 20. Brogdon left side, and he jams it with authority. How about Brogdon showing a little bit of the bunnies there? And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Middleton the pass to Martin. From deep. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Martin's got 39. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Here's Williams, and it's Williams finishing it off. Uh, an unreal athlete. Williams gets off the floor with such ease to power it down. The three connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. For Boston, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, Greg, analysts evaluate player performances on the floor, and sometimes we've seen the players fire back. They're not happy with the criticism. You know, it, it's a risk you take, but if you treat everyone with kid gloves, you're really not doing your job. The audience expects a level of honesty, and, and quite frankly, Players don't mind you criticizing their game. It's when those critiques become personal. Smart's checked in for White. The Bucks also with the sub. Even Genzo's checked in. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Smart against Martin. Here's the three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 
Brown, the pass to Williams. And the slam by Williams. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Martin from outside trains the three-pointer. Three. Martin's got 45 points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Andre Kumbo with the ball. Williams picks him up. Holiday dishes to Martin. Launches it. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Smart against DiVincenzo. Smart passes to Williams. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got his fifth assist in this one. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. Two minutes remaining in the game. And it's Martin missing. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. The shot by Brogdon wide open. Williams kicks to Brogdon. Takes a three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Ante decumbo has got rebound number eight now on the night. Martin from outside. Rebound Boston. Not loose. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Bucks. What an effort in the transition game we've seen tonight from these guys. Really pushed the ball, and I, I think in, in doing so, created a lot of pressure on the defense. I definitely had a huge edge, and this is their DNA. When they run the ball and dictate the flow of the offense like we've seen here, these are the kinds of games they can have. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Martin. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. The pass to Williams. Smart on the wing. Williams trying to break free, and smart the bucket on the assist by Williams. Well, at this point, they're just trying to get back in sync. You, you want to play a good brand of basketball. Consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams, and tonight they just did not find it in this contest. About three seconds between shot and game clock, and it's Williams throwing it down. What I really love about this kid, you know, Williams is oh he's physical, he's explosive, and yes, he plays above the rim. He, he just brings that nasty. And again for three. Three points. And guys, this is a historic shooting night for him. Tied for third now, most threes in a game. Uh, the points GA just keep piling up, and the threes keep dropping in. He is red hot from beyond the arc. And a deep three from MP. Misses there. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. And we'll see you next time. Hey, need some help?
wasn't kidding. I really did get a tattoo that says 2K TV. No, wait, wait, this is real? This is real. That's crazy. When did you get this? At Summer League. I love it. So where are you going to get yours? Hmm. We'll have to figure that out for next season. 2K TV. Yeah, right there. Maybe I'll put my win-loss percentage right across <laughs> okay. my face. Well, <laughs> Won't be great. a long tattoo. <laughs>Everyone's still finding their footing in this early part of the season, Grant. How important is it to get off to a really hot start? Making a switch here. Martin's checked in. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Finney Smith comes in for Johnson. On the floor for the Nets. To the paint. Here's Claxton. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Here's Martin. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Down low. And Claxton gets the bucket. Claxton's got his third bucket of the night. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. The Nets with a lead. When you look at Mikael Bridges, he's the quintessential 3 and D wing, Richard. With his quick feet and 7-foot-1 wingspan, he can guard 1 through 4. And they call him the warden for a reason. When he locks people up, he puts them in Mikhail jail. From deep, MP. Oh, another miss by MP. Brooklyn has gone 1 for 5 from 3-point range. A cold start inside. And a nice finish on the layup. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. A minute six left to play in the first. From 12 feet. And Giannis with the jam. The reach of Giannis really helps out here, allowing him to beat out the defense and win a second-chance shot. To the middle. Here's Claxton. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. And that's how you lead a team, literally. Martin inside, coming off an unbelievable high-scoring game. DiVincenzo against Bridges. Again, the net score. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Martin with the ball. Guarded now by Finney Smith. Launches it. And MP with the three. Martin's got his second bucket of the night. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. He's covered by Holiday. That three's off the mark. Here's Martin. He's got five. From downtown. Oh, he beats the buzzer just in time. Wow. Big time bucket, I'll tell you. Great clock management there. Boy, that was close. Got it in just in the nick of time. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Nets out in front, up by four. And we'll be back with you shortly. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one all right guys some stats here the scoring breakdown for the nets they've got mp he's out there with pat Connaughton. derrick rose is out there with bobby portis so that's who milwaukee starts the second with pass to johnson out to the right wing here's thomas Outside Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. Over to the left wing. 
Here's Simmons. Rose grabs the board. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Martin outside. Puts up a three. And another three for Milwaukee. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And Martin comes to help to the inside. Here's Simmons. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Simmons has got his first points of the game. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Celtics just played phenomenal. He finished with 51 points, and he was red hot from beyond the arc, raining down a ton of threes. His stat line was unreal. Impossible to repeat? I don't know. Coming off of that performance, you tell me, guy. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. It's stolen by MP. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. You know, some have said those old-school power forwards, guys like Charles Oakley, they're becoming outdated. You see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position and they're shooting three-pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. A great skill level in the game right now. No question. The Nets have got two of three shots to go in the second. Inside, here's Simmons. And it's Simmons with the jam. A sensational athlete. I like when Simmons rises up with confidence and jams it through. And here's MP from outside. Sinks the tray. Martin's got 23 points. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Here's Thomas, covered by Connerton. Johnson passes to Simmons. That's his third basket and five shots. Solid work. You know Simmons can get physical when he has to, going right through the contact. Timeout called the Bucks. I'm thinking about the Aussie Ben Simmons. Such an impressive defender, Richard. Honestly, he's a defensive player of the year caliber. So it's the Milwaukee Bucks finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Hey, three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possessions. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Substitution on the court. Out to the wing. Pass to Johnson for the lead. Rebounded by the Bucks. DiVincenzo's got his sixth rebound on the night. On the floor for the Nets. We've got Nicholas Claxton. Ben Simmons is out there with Cameron Johnson. Then it's Edmund Sumner. And it's Thomas in at the two-guard spot. To the paint. This for the tie! And the layup is good by Johnson. Johnson's got nine. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Pass to Bochamp. Martin right side. Out of bounds, it'll be the Nets ball. ball. And the Nets making a change here. Finney Smith's checked in. Now the Nets with it. 
They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Here's Claxton from 10 feet away. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Simmons has got three assists in the game. DiVincenzo, pass to Martin. Fires from deep. Hits the trifecta. Martin's got 28. Here in the second half, these teams still neck and neck. I really like how each team is matching the other's intensity. Sumner on the wing. Pass to Claxton. Outside Finney Smith. Here's Thomas. Shot clock at five. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Milwaukee in the lead. Out of bounds. It'll be Brooklyn's ball. Cousins, he's checked in for the Bucks. Allen comes in for DiVincenzo. Brooklyn has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Here's Thomas, covered by Connaughton. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. It's Martin on the wing, and he's got 28 now. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Pass to Thomas. Let's the three fly. And no good. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Celtics. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. From deep, MP. The rebound by the Nets. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Here's Thomas. No good on the triple. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Oh, swiped away. From deep three-point range. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game thus far. Nets out in front, up one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And now let's take a listen in on head coach Mike Budenholzer. we can move it a little bit more against the Reds and then drive it, move it, catch it, shoot it. And Coach Bud wants his guys to work harder on offense. Yeah, and I like what Coach Budenholzer said. Just keep gutting through it and eventually, hopefully, it will come around. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. At forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. And it's Martin in at the five spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. The three is up. They get it again. Anadokupo finds Martin. Another shot. And Giannis throws it down. Oh, showing power and grace in the air. Giannis, one of the best dunkers in the game today. And here's MP from outside. Drains the triple. Martin's got 31. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. Milwaukee foul. Bobby Portis has checked in. Shooting for Brooklyn. Nicholas Claxton. At the line for one. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. From deep, MP. Brooklyn with the board. And this one feels just about over. Yeah, they'll play it out, but I think it just wasn't meant to be tonight.
Jacks up a three. And count it. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. So this one belongs to the Bucks. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.